years later is a series where I take a look back at past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 more years older still hold up. Shaolin Soccer. It was released on June 12, 2001. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa. What? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? It's one of the films that again I remember seeing as a kid and I'm so glad that I rewatched it again because the movie's great, the movie's ridiculous, and I did not know that this movie's like well known because I was looking up clips on YouTube and it's like 40 50 million views. So this is like a well known film. Now there is two different runtime as of recording this, it's free on YouTube with ads. It's only an hour and twenty seven minutes, and when I look up on Google, it's an hour and fifty three minutes. I'm assuming the long runtime is in the Hong Kong version, while in the US it's a bit shorter for some reason. I could be completely wrong on that, but I do think there is. Again, the one on YouTube is only an hour and thirty minutes. Two hours cut of this movie so again assuming that's hong kong version i honestly don't know how to talk about this movie i might talk about you know this years later is gonna be different i'll just talk about some of my favorite scenes from this movie the narrative and plot is very simple this guy golden leg he was supposed to be like this popular soccer player but then he threw a game he's like a bad guy now he creates team evil he meets this one guy who can kick really fast and really good they get a team of misfits who like soccer and then they win a game and then he falls in love with a girl that's a very simple story that doesn't really matter what matters is the scenes in this movie because they're great one scene i most definitely remember when i was little is the dough scene where the one who wants to get with it helps at the end where I've never wanted to make dough my Till I saw this movie again because the way she's doing it man there's air flying and whatnot and she catches his paw can swoop how is that even possible doesn't matter throwing the dough up she's spitting it for some weird reason it's like does she have wind power I don't know but it looks cool it's great and then our main guy who's then I'm just gonna call him like legs of steel all right your boy legs of steel okay he starts singing talking about kung fu and how he really wants to use kung fu on everything there's this one random ass singing scene with him and his friend dressed up as monks bald cap and they're singing horribly but it's hilarious and then that scene alone leads into this whole fight golden like gets a can thing open and then this guy kicks a goddamn can up in the sky so high that it cracks into like a brick wall that just happens but then there's like this fight when he kicks his first guy he kicks him so like i guess hard or so fast that air is coming out of it Like what? There's a slow mo shots where he got them soccer ball and knocks all of these dudes out like a goddamn bowling ball or like a pin or something. The CG in most of this film does not hold up. It looks pretty bad, but doesn't matter. He like kicks one guy so hard that he starts flying away backwards. And based off the limited knowledge that I know, I believe there's two type of different martial arts slash kung fu movies. There's the you know martial arts series, you know like kind of like John Wick, all those like action flicks. And then there's the one that they start flying like in this movie or like crouching tiger, hidden dragon type stuff where it's like okay, this is definitely the later half where people are just flying out of nowhere. Out of Thinner for no reason. Another just amazing scene is the recruiting scene. Going all around recruiting a bunch of people because they need their help. They need this team of misfits to play soccer and because Golden saw this guy kick as hard as he could and as ridiculous as he could be part of this soccer league tournament. And then all of them showing up was also pretty badass. Just all in sunglasses and there's wind and air and whatnot. It just was so dumb but also so cool. All of them are at their lowest. One of them's cleaning toilets. One of them overweight. They've gotten pretty big and chubby. One of them's cleaning dishes. So all of these characters are at the lowest. And they believe if they play the soccer game or train to be in the soccer league, you know, their life can go back up and live a very happy, luxurious life. It's also important to remember, like, I don't give a fuck about soccer at all or sports in general. So the fact that this movie made me care to this extent about people playing soccer, buying an air while playing soccer is just an amazing feat because I don't care about sports. But this movie made me care about soccer for like a little bit. For like an hour, 27 minutes, this movie made me care about that. So, and there's got to be training montages, right? There's a soccer training montage. There's a training montage of him, like, hitting this wall really hard and almost breaking the goddamn wall. There's the chubby one who likes eating raw eggs and so he full on just eats and kisses one of his teammates. And then that whole training bit with them getting all their kung fu powers was great. <laughs> All of them in their stance. That shit, they're all just standing there. All of them getting to their max power, fire, bad CG fire behind them. That was cool. One of their powers is like the soccer ball sticks to them. He's so sticky that he sucked the ball. The chubby one obviously has like max strength. It's also that looks like Bruce Lee. He's dressed up as Bruce Lee for some reason. One that can like break dance. He's like b-boying, like break dancing while playing fucking soccer. Like what? There's one that can do a bunch of head spins. Like th this shit's crazy. And I'm loving every bit of this. It's just, again, I feel like I'm gonna say fantastic and awesome throughout this whole video, but it is. It just is. And then Team Evil, for some reason, the 
trainee for Team Evil is that they're playing soccer underwater in this pool. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it works because once they kick up the ball in the water, there's just a huge explosion. It just creates raindrops and then evil villain, evil guys like laughing and like, yes, my team will win. It's an amazing, useless scene, if that makes any sense. That makes sense, right? This movie makes total sense. And then it's time. It's time for Team Shaolin to face Team Evil. But before all of that, Team Evil is being evil, right? Getting injected with steroids, which is kind of ridiculous. But either way, steroids versus Shaolin monks, all right? Inner power kung fu stuff. But then throughout this time, they're like winning. They're like celebrating. They get like new shoes. Again, that whole like all of them at their lows in life. Life is turning back up. They're all being very happy. Except for their main guy. Legs of Steel guy. He's really into this girl. And this girl gets a makeover. That scene of that makeover scene where she goes into that door. And then that barber or that person, they eat her burger. And she just wipes it on her shirt. That was just like a split like a minute maybe. Maybe like 10 second scene. That was still hilarious because she's wiping her burger off her shirt. But she gets like an 80s makeover, which is weird. But because her fully insecure about her looks, because she does, you know, it's got like a lot of scars and pimples or whatnot. And he like loves her or whatnot. I don't really care about this. But whenever she comes in the game and her head is bald and she's like a monk, that was a cool callback around. And like the whole shoe thing, they have this little shoe bit of her fixing up this old ass shoe. And then that comes back all around in the final game, which is like a nice touch and just a little nice nod. So as expected, there's some ridiculous shit in this last game. Uh, how do I, do I remember? There is, there is a bunch of headbutts, a lot of, you know, hitting each other's head. There is a bunch of goalie shirt ripping and whatnot. Like Bruce Lee look alike. He's like the field goalie for Team Shaolin. He blocks this guy. Also, whenever they kick this ball in this last game, it like creates fire and wind. It like cuts the grass and everything. Again, super ridiculous shit. I think both goalies, like their clothes come off or at least team evil and then for bruce lee look at like his gloves and his shirt part of it's like coming off because of the fire and the, and like the spinning and how hot it is even when he gets stretched out he puts on his glasses still looking like really cool and shit it's like damn okay we even get a moment of one of the guys calling like ex-girlfriend or ex-wife or something and then the husband picks it up but he's like saying goodbye to her essentially and he's just getting kicked with that soccer ball back and back and back because he's like the sucker of the team and he just eats all those shots balls of soccer i don't know a lot of fire there's like a break dancing moment too there's three of them like like just be born breakdancing again a lot of just what the heck moment breakdancing mid game oh yeah i forgot they put on like the goddamn celebrations out of nowhere it just comes on and then there's like this dancing moment slash musical moment when he meets his girl for the first time why is it there got a strange like a wig man that's a stranger this shit just happens out of nowhere it's like what okay and then home girl the one girl that he like comes in she's bald and she does her whole dough training and brings it into the field and like she gets the soccer ball and not go back in the field and she like throws it and then with the shoe of the whole fixing shoe thing our main guy licks but still kicks it into the goal making i think the one and only goal i think this last game is very defense heavy neither team have got and one score and so it's all leading up to this moment of who's gonna score first in order to win and so with the help of do training kung fu training and celebration talking so all this stuff and just ridiculousness team shaolin wins with one point and then team evil loses the main guy he's going to jail for, for like illegal uses of steroids and whatnot making people superhuman strength team shaolin is now so popular and so good that they go and like you know play games in the u.s and this big billboard in japan and everyone's like using like kung fu and shaolin stuff in japan now possibly the rest of the world because everyone's using it now that whole lady in the beginning she's falling on her ass comes back all around at the end where she's falling and then she lands on her feet giving a wink that comes back all around they put on celebration again and kung fu fight for some weird reason they put that theme in here as well and they like remix it with a bunch of different beats and riffs and in the end like everyone gets what they want golden leg gets to be rich make money from this leg of steel guy he gets his girl and gets to play games with her throughout the rest of the world and his friends are not at their lows no more everyone's using kung fu shaolin monk type stuff now so clearly if you guys can't tell I really like this movie this movie is ridiculous based off of researching this film it is a classic because a lot of people know about it and it's just yeah what a movie man what a goddamn movie and the only thing that's dated is the cg what makes the movie you know tell its time is definitely cg does not look great aside from that everything else they could possibly do right now honestly like if they make these type of films nowadays i would go watch this in a beat and there probably is movies like this or like tv shows i'm just not looking for it but in the end howling soccer 20 years later most definitely holds up and it's still a fantastic enjoyable ridiculous and chaotic movie because that's the whole point of it people playing soccer in the air and and getting stuck in it and just i don't know man this movie is great and if you still haven't seen this movie go watch it it's free on youtube right now and it might be available i don't know somewhere else or get it on blue or dvd doesn't matter just get it watch it either way because it's really damn great so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching <laughs>